Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Um, obviously international breaks took an, uh, over the last weekend. Championship and Premier League are back for this weekend. Um, my Premier League went up yesterday. Um, if you haven't seen them already, please go and check them out and feel free to do that. Um, before I get started on my championship predictions this weekend and talk about the results, um, I'm on the road to a thousand subs. My aim was this season, and you wouldn't have known it because I haven't said anything about it because I wanted to get to a certain point, if you know what I mean. I didn't want to, you know, but I've reached that certain point now. Um, I want to try and get this channel to a thousand subs come the end of the season come may um so guys share my videos that's if we can do it together um and there'll be a special video once i reach a thousand subs um but anyway yeah as i said just share my videos that's if we could do it together um it'd be a huge thank you from me as well um but yeah, let's see if we could do it. Um, but anyway, down to my predictions. So guys, anyway, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game I'm going to kick off with is Blackburn versus Huddersfield. Blackburn losing 4-2 away to QPR. That's quite a good game as well. Um, Huddersfield beating... Hull City 3 0 at home. First three points for Huddersfield, I believe, um, under their new manager. Um, it, now, this weekend, I think it's going to say a lot about Huddersfield in the circumstance of, you know, where they, you know, after sucking their manager, getting the new ones in place and and you know so so on from that um blackburn on the other hand just mentioned them losing four to away to qpr um great result for qpr I'll talk about that when i get down to a qpr fixture um but where do i go with this result I, as i've said i think it's going to be a big week for Huddersfield. But I'm going to give the result to Blackburn and I'll go for a 2 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Barnsley versus Swansea City. Barnsley losing 5 1 away to Preston North End. I did say Preston North End is a typical a hard place to go. Um, Swansea City losing 2 1 at home to Stoke City. First three points for Stoke City this season. Um, disappointing day for Swansea, but is that a fixture I sort of turned up and expecting the three points because how bad Stoke have been performing this season? Um, Barnsley, on the other hand, I did say deep down a hard place to go, um, and it looks like Barnsley got the you know, uh, real example of that. Um, but, you know, I look at that Swansea result and I do roughly think that that's the only thing I could re think that Stoke lost. But great, great uh, result for uh, Nathan Jones and all the Stoke staff and team. But as far as this result goes, I'm going to give it to Swansea and I'm going to go for a 3 nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Brentford versus Millwall. Millwall beating Leagues 2-1 at home. Brentford losing 1-0 away to Notch Forest. Great three points for Millwall. Um, is this, um, you know, where the table's going to start taking shape? It hasn't really took a shape yet. Um, I think it's like something between four points between sixth and first. It really is that tight. But now is it the time? Where the table's going to start taking shape. Um, you know, great three points from Mill. Disappointing day for Leagues again. Um, Brentford losing 1-0 away to Notch Forest. 
not twice is a hard place to go. Um, you know, in late. Um, they ain't letting too many results drop. If they get in the lead, they seem to be keeping that lead. You know, I think Lost Forest could be one of the teams to watch out for come the end of May to see where they could possibly. I reckon even the playoffs, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to give it to Brentford and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Brentford win. My next one is Chelsea Athletic versus Derby County. Derby beat in Luton Town 2 0 at home. Chelton drawing with Fulham 2 2 away from home. Great point for Chelton um, at the cottage. Um, you know, I think Chelton went 2 1 up in that game as well. Um, but still a great point for Chelton. Don't forget Chelton are newly, newly to the Championship as well, ever since coming back from League One. Um, so, you know, if you've got all that to put in mind as well, and that's why I say it's still a great point for Chelton. Derby beating Luton 2 0 at home. Um, yeah, probably a bit expected. Uh, probably a bit of a shock if the salt was the other way around, but it weren't. So, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Charlton Athletic win. My next one is Hull City versus Queen's Park Rangers. Queen's Park Rangers beating Blackburn 4-2 at home. Hull City losing 3-0 away to Huddersfield. Disappointing day for Hull. Um, great day for QPR. Six goals game in that Blackburn game. Um, you know, with... The QPR result going that way with Hull City going that way. I can only call this result one way and I'll go for a 3-1 QPR win. My next one is Leagues versus Birmingham City. Birmingham City beating Middlesbrough 2-1 at home. Leagues losing 2-1 away to Millwall. Um, great three points for Birmingham. I think Birmingham's manager now will think start pushing for the playoffs, but not this season. I think this season for Birmingham, in my opinion, is too far gone. Um, you know, you've got to have teams drop points there or there, but then you've also got to make the bottom teams beat the top teams to even really give Birmingham a good amount of hope. I could be wrong. Um, as I said, it's always just my opinion, so you're entitled to your own, um, and do feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but that 2-1 Millwall result for Leeds, yeah, it's not quite, I don't think, I, don't, I, I really am struggling to see where Leeds are going to finish this year. I think that a lot of their with leagues, the manager, and you know, before he signed the new contract, I think that's played its part in this season for leagues. But as far as this result goes, I'm going to call it a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Luton Town versus Bristol City. Luton Town loses 2 0 away to Derby County. Bristol City beat Reading. 1-0 at home. Great three points for Bristol City. Well expected nothing less. Um, Luton on the other hand. Mm, you know, it could be uh, one of them things with Luton. Um, you know, for say... Um, you know, I still look at Luton... I still try and establish themselves in the championship. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Bristol City win. My next one is Middlesbrough versus West Bromwich Albion. Middlesbrough losing 2-1 away to Birmingham City. West Bromwich Albion beating Cardiff at home 4-2. Um, great three points for West Brom. Didn't expect quite a big uh, margin scoreline at West Brom, I've got to admit. Um, Middlesbrough losing 2-1 at 
a way to Birmingham. Yeah, um, you know, as I said, great three points for uh, West Brom. Disappointing day again for Middlesbrough. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 West Brom and Albion win. My next one is Reading versus Preston. Reading losing 1 0 away to Bristol City. Preston North End beating Barnsley 5 1 at home. Deep Tail is a really hard place to go. Um, you know, let's not be around the bush. But it looks like it's a good day for Preston and um, a field day by the looks of things. Uh, Ready on the other hand, disappointed that at the office. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Preston North End win. My next one is Stoke City versus Fulham. Fulham drawing 2 2 at home with Charlton. Stoke City beating Swansea 2 1 away. Great three points for Stoke City. First three points for Stoke City this season. The pressure was growing on Nathan Jones at Stoke and the coaching staff and the players, and they managed to put a result like that against Swansea. Disappointing day for Fulham. I know Fulham are strong at home. To even think that newly promoted Charlton got managed to go around and get a point, I think that's going to give the teams a lot of confidence going down uh, to the cottage from now until probably the start of 2020. Um, but obviously there's a long way to go between now and then. We have to see what happens. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Fulham win. My next one is Cardiff versus Cardiff City versus Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday beating Wigan Athletic 1-0 at home. Cardiff losing 4-2 away um, to West Bromwich Albion. Disappointing day for Cardiff. Uh, as I said, didn't expect quite a big margin what it was. Um, Sheffield Wednesday on the other hand, great three points. Expecting really nothing left from uh, Sheffield Wednesday. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Wigan Athletic versus Nottingham Forest. Wigan Athletic, just as you mentioned them, losing 1-0 away to Sheffield Wednesday. Nottingham Forest beating Brentford 1-0 at home. Um, you know, with the likes of Nottingham Forest beating Brentford, and I know Brentford's not the easiest team to play, with Wigan losing to Sheffield Wednesday, I think Nottingham Forest are going to be looking into this game as another three points, and I'm going to stick up for them to do that, and I'm going to go for a two now, not for this win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do, give a share, big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, cheer for now.